Hello everyone, hi, welcome. I am so excited for today's video. And that is because I finally get to share with you all that I co-created another jewelry piece with Ana Luisa. Yes, I'm so, so excited. I haven't been able to tell you about this for months and now I finally get to share. And I'm so happy that this day has finally come. Last year, I launched this necklace that I designed with the Ana Luisa team and I have absolutely loved it. I wear it all the time. You guys see me wearing it in my videos all the time. And it was so great to see all of your reactions to it and see how many people have loved it and have loved wearing it. It has brought me so much joy. So when the Ana Luisa team reached out to me and said that they were interested in creating another piece with me, I was super excited and immediately knew that I wanted to do it. And this time around, we created this beautiful bracelet that I am just so in love with. I really wanted to create a piece that was complementary to the necklace, something that you could wear with the necklace if you have one, but also something that you could wear on its own. It didn't have to be like completely matching. I didn't really want it to be like matchy matchy in case like you don't want to wear them together, but they definitely complement each other. They both have the floral element and the pearls on them, so you can easily wear them together and your jewelry will look cohesive, but at the same time you could also wear them separately and they are their own individual pieces. I am just so in love with this bracelet and the way that it turned out. It's so delicate and dainty and something that you can wear on its own, but something you can also easily layer with other bracelets. There are three flowers and four pearls on the bracelet and actually that wasn't intentional, but seven is my favorite number, so it can also be a lucky bracelet if you want to think about it that way. The bracelet is six inches in length plus an extra 1.25 inches for the clasp, so it is about 7.25 inches in total. I feel like it's definitely a classic type of timeless piece, and that's what I wanted it to feel like, which was similar to what I wanted the necklace to feel like. The design process for this one was a bit different than the design process for the necklace because I had a very specific idea of what I wanted wanted when I was designing the necklace since that was inspired by a necklace I already had. But with the bracelet, I didn't have like a specific piece or a specific um, idea in mind for what I wanted. I just knew that I wanted something that would complement the necklace and something that was um, modern but also had a bit of a vintage flair. So I talked to the design team and I created a whole mood board of like what I wanted in terms of like the vibe. And I also sent along some photos of some jewelry and bracelets specifically that I really liked and the aesthetic that I was kind of looking for and then we came together and created this final product and I am so so happy with it. <laughs> I can't even explain how excited I was when I finally saw it in person. When you see the like digital renditions of it um, it's not really the same and I was excited about the digital version too obviously otherwise I never would have like approved it and we would have gone in a different direction but uh, when I saw it in person it was so much prettier than I even imagined it to be and it's just like the perfect bracelet. I want to wear it all the time. I haven't been wearing it that much because I didn't want to spoil anything too much, but I have been wearing it here and there in videos and in photos every once in a while, and it's just so good. It's a perfect layering piece, like I said, and also perfect to wear on its own if you like really simplistic jewelry, which is definitely my taste in jewelry. Again, I feel like it's the type of thing that you would see in like a vintage shop, so it's classic, but it's also in a lot of ways very modern. So we'd gone through a few different um, design options and ideas while we were coming up with the design for the bracelet, and at first there was like one design where we were gonna have the flowers be kind of like hollow, have them have like a bit of a different design to them. And while I like that one, I felt like it wasn't exactly what I had in mind. So then we decided to go with what is more of like the final design now, where the flowers are actually filled in and I'm just so pleased with it. I think it turned out perfectly. As you can see from my inspiration photos, um, the bracelets and jewelry that I really like are very, very vintage inspired. I feel like I draw a lot of inspiration from like late 1800s, early 1900s. I mean, it's actually really apt because we just had the um, Met Gala where we had like the whole Gilded Age uh, theme. I really like the like fashion, especially the jewelry of that era, particularly with like Victorian era jewelry. I feel like that's the type of thing that I tend to gravitate towards. So anytime I really like a piece, it's typically something that is actually vintage or is definitely very vintage inspired. Sometimes it can be very over the top, ostentatious and gaudy, there are always like components to those pieces that I just find like super, super pretty. So sometimes if you simplify them, that kind of becomes like what I would consider my more like modern taste um, in jewelry and design. So that's kind of like what I was drawing inspiration from. As you can see, I like really earthy natural tones and themes. I like leaves and flowers and just like any kind of floral design on jewelry. And I love pearls. I like having that combination of earth and sea in 
all things really, um, but in like fashion and in jewelry particularly, like I like when anything has some kind of like a floral design, but also has pearls because it brings those two components together. And I feel like that's kind of what I was um, envisioning for this. And I feel like it really came to life in the best way. And yeah, I just, I'm so in love with it and I cannot wait for you all to get to wear it and wear it with the necklace. And oh my God, I'm just, I'm so, so thrilled about this. So the bracelet, which we have named the Hannah bracelet is 14 karat gold plated brass with uh, freshwater pearls and the price is $75 USD. For international customers the price will appear in their own currency and will include duties, fees, and taxes which is why if you're an international customer the price may appear higher for you. And of course I will have the link to the bracelet in the description box if you would like to go and get one for yourself so that we can match, so that you can match your necklace. I know you all showed so much love to this necklace um, which has really meant so much to me and I hope that you love the bracelet all the same. It has been so so much fun working with Ana Luisa again. It's a pleasure to work with them and it has been a pleasure to create this piece as well and I know that I'm going to be wearing this for a very long time. So yeah, I hope that this bracelet is something that you enjoy as well and something that can bring you peace in times if you need it or just serves as a reminder to you of our community here and this space that we all get to share. But thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Had you not loved the necklace so much, I wouldn't have been able to create the bracelet for you too. So I'm just really, really glad and grateful that I get to do that and that I have you all here with me. And anytime I get an opportunity like this to create something for you and share that thing with you, it just warms my heart so much. So thank you all. This wouldn't exist without you. Like I said, the link to the bracelet will be in the description box. So please go check it out there. If you do purchase one, please let me know. Um, I will try and respond to everyone's comments as much as I possibly can. If you do end up purchasing the bracelet, please be sure to tag me in all of your photos. Send me your photos. I'd love to see how you style it and what you think. Um, I just love seeing all of your photos of the pieces. It's just so fun for me and so nice. So just already preemptively thank you so much to anyone who does end up purchasing one of the bracelets. Um, I appreciate you so much and even if you can't I still appreciate you so much for even watching this video. But I hope you know I get to do things like this because of you and that I am always always grateful and always keeping that in mind. So again thank you all so much. Thank you to Anna Luisa for um, collaborating with me again on this project. It was such a pleasure and I hope you all love and enjoy the bracelet as much as I do. Be sure to follow me on any of my social media to tag me in all the photos so that I can see you all wearing it, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, thank you all so so much from the bottom of my heart and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!